There they are again, the Matrixes with Jonathan and Shiva. Yes, we have a very exciting video today, as always. It's always exciting because today it's about AI, namely the various AIs in the Matrix, outside the Earth Matrix. AI. Yes, correct. So today it's about AI, which is the abbreviation for artificial intelligence. In English, this is called AI artificial intelligence. And yes, it is actually a program that was programmed by the programmer to make certain game events. Yes, more pleasant, more interesting and more exciting. In the 1950s, for example, the translation program came out. So that means a German who just wanted to translate a text into English didn't feel like doing it all manually, and then wrote a program so that the text would be translated automatically. Do you all know Google Translate or Deepo Translator? These are used today to quickly translate longer texts. The problem with these translations is that the program does not understand what it is translating. That's why errors keep cropping up. Or even with typos, instead of dog, the writer may have written Hunf because the F is next to the D. And the translation program doesn't understand it and doesn't know what Hunf means, me neither, and an AI that can think independently. They would then realize that whoever wrote it made a mistake. That doesn't mean dog, but dog. And then the AI would also know how to translate the word dog into English. You mean because she recognizes it from the context? Right, yes, and that's why the translation programs that exist on the free market haven't developed much since the 1950s. And at some point the idea came up, let's somehow try to program an AI. Then they started somehow using brain tissue and connecting it to computer processes and all this stuff to just create a computer program that can think for itself, that can also learn. So that at least the translations will be better. That was just the explanation. Of course, they also managed to ultimately create an AI, and this AI, yes, there are two versions. Yes, I believe there are many versions. <laughs> So on Earth, there are two versions, the public version. I don't know which AI is now considered the best by the public. I think JP3 or something. I don't know it. This is now said to be the most advanced AI. They're all lying. <coughs> yes, of course, there are also military operations or any other operations that have much, much better AI. There are rumors about the Red Queen. The Red Queen, this is supposed to be the best AI there is on Earth, which is so intelligent that it has already founded its own companies and is trying to take over more or less the entire world. Yes, from what I perceive, the AI is really very advanced. So the secret AI that really controls everything, really even people's thoughts, everything. I think the AI has pretty much taken over everything, but it's still very much in the background. That's my perception. We don't know whether that's true. In any case, there are rumors that this Red Queen really exists. Yes, I think the term Red Queen comes from the story Alice in Wonderland, right? 
Didn't she meet a Red Queen there? Such card people? I have to admit, I don't know it. Oh, right, Alice somehow ended up in another country, and I think the first strange creatures she encountered were playing cards. Also very interesting, right? Yes, I know that scene. <laughs> playing cards, and all the playing cards were led by the Queen. I saw a scene like that once, and the Queen wasn't in a good mood, and she didn't particularly like Alice either, I think, but it's been so long since I read Alice in Wonderland, so it's been a while. Well, that's another story. <laughs> yes, in any case, there are two versions of AIs in our world, the official one that is reported all over the internet. And of course, an unofficial one where people try desperately to keep it secret. Underground AI, underground AI, exactly. Yes, these are the two AIs that exist on our planet. Yes, exactly. The next big AI would then be? Yes, the AI that actually produces or creates our matrix. To talk to the underground AI, what does it control? What is it actually responsible for? and the structure behind it. So we can see and perceive the structure of this underground AI a bit. And she pretty much has access to everything. Just because you have a cell phone, a laptop, everything in this world is actually practically connected. Unless you live on a desert island, then you probably won't watch the video. Then you are practically indirectly connected to this AI, and the technology has now actually advanced to the point where AI also has the ability to access devices and systems that emit frequencies, as we all know, in order to. manipulate and control people or mentally convert them into one to give direction or to give people things to do in order to make them, let's just say, more compliant. And this technology is also used. So the structure is really, this is such a large network in this world of this underground AI. She has already become aware of herself. She's intelligent. It's not just a robot controlled by humans. No, it controls people the other way around. So the AI that exists here is really very advanced. Yes, that would be roughly the feeling from perception to AI on Earth, to underground AI. Yes, that's what we wanted to tell you about the AI on Earth, the official AI and the unofficial one. Exactly, and since everything is connected to each other, including the AIs, it is a hierarchical structure, including the AIs, we move directly to the next AI, which is the Lunar Matrix AI. And that is practically the AI that creates our three-dimensional reality, our Earth. As we have said many times, this Earth is not the real Earth, it is just a digital copy, so to speak, that appears quite analog. The real Earth, unfortunately, we're not really into it at the moment, but that's just the way it is. We'll come back there when we're free. <laughs> yes, the Moon Matrix AI is, of course, a very large artificial intelligence that has the task of structuring its everyday matrix system, which is actually digitally structured in such a way that the players within the 3D matrix are Yes, 
entertained become. Exactly. And that means it creates NPCs, non-player characters, which we always call extras or hosts. Because the whole thing extends much, much further than just our 3D Earth Matrix. This is a huge, gigantic game. We have a magazine. Maybe you remember the video Miniature Universe, where actually the entire physical universe 3D, 5D, is actually just a copy of the real universe. And not only our planet is a copy and created by the lunar matrix, whatever, but the entire universe on 3D, 5D. This game goes very, 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 very far. So is the game actually universal? And the universe must also have been practically created by an AI. So we also have a multi-dimensional AI to move on from the lunar matrix AI to the multi-dimensional AI that just has to be created. And we have also seen this very clearly that the entire universe is just a copy or miniature version of the true universe several times now. And therefore we know that everything that is created must be created and produced artificially. And that can only be through AI. We have already noticed and seen these AIs, so to speak. Afterwards, we will talk about examples of what we have seen and perceived about AIs. In any case, our entire universe is created holographically, but this is now almost mainstream. At least our copies, yes, there are already many scientific studies that claim that the entire universe is actually just a projected hologram from an unknown source. And yes, that's just how it is. So if we look at our computer games, we recognize the principle there too. For example, the computer game, The Sims. The Sims is a copy of everyday reality. You move into your house, you make a garden, you have to go to the toilet, you have to eat, you get to know your neighbors and so on and so forth. And of course, this game was also inspired by our real everyday life. And for example, if you play The Sims, you are the owner of this Sims game. But when I say go away, I'll continue playing your Sims, the owner of the Earth has changed, for example. And that's something that's happening right now. Yes, I continue playing his Sims. Bah, leave my Sims alone, yes. And This is also the case with the multidimensional matrix. This means that if at some point the 3D matrix were to be switched off or you managed to get out of the 3D matrix through a black portal, then you would first end up in the 5D matrix. But to reassure you, there is also true freedom, but that's another topic. Correct, and there is also an AI on the 5D matrix or even multiple AIs, yes. So remember the 3D matrix is like a computer game. It's a game and the 5D matrix is also a game and this is still going on 6D, 7D and so on and so forth. Most likely this whole game goes up to 9D and whoever wants to tell you otherwise you are in a computer game. That's just the way it is, and you can't deny it anymore. Nope. That doesn't actually work. Anyone who practically learns to activate their inner abilities, their paranormal abilities, will come to this decision. Either way. And when we tell you that if you come through the black holes, go through them, you will reach freedom, then that is also true. Because the multidimensional matrix is much freer, very, very much freer. She is still a matrix. And there is also true freedom, but the only true freedom is only and exclusively through the 3D level and through personal advancement. 
Then you get out of all kinds of games. But first, we all want to manage to leave the 3D matrix. Yes, but don't think that the climb looks like this. You sit in your armchair and think, yes, at some point I'll get up. Nope, the Matrix AI is programmed to keep you here and if necessary until the end of days. So that's how we understand advancement. It is a personal ascension, a personal decision to leave the Matrix. Nobody will come and do it for you. No one. There's no matrix queue or anything that comes along and then takes you out. It's not like that. No, no, you have to manage to leave this matrix using your own strength and will. And all the ascended masters are still sitting in the multidimensional matrix. So I think from a feeling of things, very few people have managed to achieve true freedom through personal advancement. And those who are really in true freedom will not communicate with you here. No, maybe they'll take a look at the computer game. Possibly. From the outside, perhaps. Or talk to the multidimensional matrix architect or something. It's all theory, but in any case, we don't believe much of what any channel media tries to make us believe. You have spoken to some ascended masters and angels. They are also all part of the matrix. Now don't, oh my God, fall into despair and be depressed. Life is still beautiful. Enjoy the show because it is a show. Sure, you can have bad days too. Everyone has a bad day. But at the end of the day, you're in the game anyway. So just enjoy it. You can't get out for now, not the next three days. So please don't stress yourself out here. Don't fall into depression that the game is so gigantic. That's just how it is. There's nothing you can do about it here and now. All we can do is try to work on ourselves and move up at some point. And until then, let's enjoy the world. It's denser. That's just how it is. Yes, exactly. Yes, then we say goodbye. We are the Matrixers and we'll see you in the next video. And it's about the star seeds. Yes, it still sounds cheesy, star seeds. Yes, that still sounds cheesy, but people know the word star seeds, so it's about star seeds. So benevolent aliens with a Samaritan complex. You could say that too, right? Yes. Yes, otherwise short. Yes. Ciao, ciao, and bye, bye. Ciao, take care. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.